What's good, everybody? Uh, Danny put a pound of D here, as well as King Kapuka. We're just gonna do a quick little tutorial on kind of the two standard fishing rigs here in Hawaii. So to start off, we're gonna do a, what's known as a whipping rig. Whipping is just basically whipping out your whatever you're casting out into the ocean and reeling it in real quick, and you just do that over and over again, and it works like a lure system, kind of. And uh, basically, this is just a simple, easy way to fish in Hawaii that provides results. So if you can master this, you're gonna be catching fish on the wide. Pretty much. So here I got a, I got a seven foot medium action sweep fire, dial rod, and a pen fierce two. So basically what it is, it's like a Carolina rig, where you got your lead on the main line, stopped by a swivel. So the lead is moving freely on your line, and when a fish pulls on the, the lure, it won't feel the weight at all, so it continue to run with the hook in its mouth, and then you can set the hook on it. So this rig works really good in Hawaii. Basically if you do it, you're going to catch something. Yeah. Actually, whether it's a stick fish or a small little wrasse or a papil, that, gonna, will, that will scream your line out. You're going to be catching stuff. You're going to catch it. something. So I'm going to untie my line and redo it all for you. The kind of pole and rod you want with this, you, though you really want something light like the Adrian has here, like a little light reel, super light action rod so you can just feel everything and things are bouncing around and popping. If you try to do this with yeah. a big heavy reel and stuff, it's not going to work out. You yeah, need a little light rig. You won't feel the fish grab the lure at all. It's going to not, it's going to cast like 12 feet instead of 100 miles. <laughs> so of course, put the line through the eyes. So now you basically, you got your line through the last eye. Oh, nice repair job here, Dander. Yep, I had to repair the rod tip on this. We'll probably do one of those later. It's really easy. So you got the end of your line. You put it inside of the egg lead. This is a half ounce egg lead. This is what I always blow is I forget, I space out and I put, I tie up my rig and then I realize I didn't put my lead on and then I have to go and redo the whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, lead first. Use a barrel swivel. Barrel swivels work best. They do. Basically, I just do the fisherman's knot. You can do the uni knot, whatever you want. Whatever works best for you, whatever you're comfortable with. So basically what I do is I put it through the eye, like that. Put my pinky here, grab the line with my other hand, and wrap it. I'll wrap it about six times. Grab the line, and put it back through that loop that you just made. And we'll just start off with that. That right there is a good knot. Yeah, that knot is gonna, if you can learn that knot, you're, you don't need to know any other knots. It's really easy to learn. Trim off the excess. Always cut the line with cutters. Never use your teeth, you'll ruin your teeth. Here I got 30 pound braid. It's a little bit big for this pole, but what I had and what I was comfortable with using. So Boom. now stage one. So now you got that. That's, That's what's what gonna got. send your line out miles. Now I take ten can... pound test. Ten eight, ten, twelve pound test, nothing more than that. Maybe about arm arm span length. It's about five feet, six feet. You can make it longer if you want. When you're fishing with this rig, especially in Hawaii, like when you start off, you're gonna be getting stuff caught pretty much, so don't worry yeah. about it. Learn to tie this rig because you will lose this rig all the time. Fishing in Hawaii, this is part of life here. You're gonna get caught on the rocks, on the reef. And um, so that's also a thing. Don't get leads bigger than this until you're like sure you can handle it because it will sink straight down. Down one. Uh, okay, so now you got your lead line about five to six feet. You can make it longer. Some people make it a lot longer, depending on what you're going after. If the fish are real finicky, you can make it 12 feet, which is just ridiculous. I heard people making it that long. 
but that's because they have 13 foot rods. Huge light action rods. So same knot. I'll show you guys how to do it again when I tie the hook on. Okay, now I got the lead on. What I like to do is I like to buy these little gold beads. Put those on your line. You can get them at a, what was that art store? You can get them at fishing store. I get mine at Ace Hardware. They just always have them. They'll never run out. I put a gold one and a red one. This is gonna increase the presentation of your lure. And then I get my bait holder hook. You can use a BKN hook. AH hooks. AH hooks work. So this is a BKN hook. Basically, these are good if you're if you're running it really shallow. These won't get hooked on the reef because of that curved tip. It will just bounce off the rocks. So if you're using like a bobber, a clear bobber float, and you reel it in slowly, because you want it to be a little bit lower in the water, it'll bounce off the rocks. But I like to rip it in fast, so I use a bait holder hook. They have barbs on the back of them, and they keep your grub on the hook from slipping off. I put the hook facing down, and I put the line through it. Now you got your hook on the line. Put my pinky there, grab the other side of the line, and twist it six times. Back through the hole. Pull that tight. Snip it. And snip the line. And this is all, at some point, kind of personal preference. Once you get the general idea of this rig, you can toy with it and customize it. People are going to tell you to use different hooks, different methods. Yeah. It's basically, this is just a general thing. This is how we do it. This is just my style. Yeah. If you want to do it like this, Go for it. If you want to do your own variation, go for it. But once you have the general rig and idea down, you're good to go. And so I got a couple different colors of grubs. Yeah, we also I'm gonna bust those grubs out. Grubs is what we like to use in Hawaii. These are super popular method of fishing, especially with this rig. You put a little grub on it. it, makes an excellent lure. So basically, I got some flies here. I also got these little cast masters. You can put this where your hook is and just throw this out and that will catch fish. That is a 112 ounce. Yeah, it's small. If you use the, small. the bigger cast masters, this rig won't work anymore. You can also put these homemade flies on. These are beautiful. One of those neighbor made these. Yeah, those are pretty awesome little flies, man. These are like little papillo flies. You rip them through the water, papillo will grab them. And that's a really cool one. It looks like a shrimp, even with the eyes and everything. It's all around really cool lure. You can put those where your hook is and just throw these out. But if you don't have those and you have access to these, these will work just as good. Yeah, grubs are super cheap, super effective. This is one of my favorite colors. It's called a motor, motor oil. These are good for papilla, firecracker, and the other firecracker style, the blue style. Those work good too. I really like gold. Yeah, gold is king color. Golds work great. Smaller ones are better actually. Yeah, what is the size of those? Like two inches? Yeah, this is a three inch grub. Yeah, you want the two inch ones are like prime for this rig. So I've seen people hook the grubs here where they just grab the grub like this and just hook it right through the end like this. And that will work, just like that. But sometimes the fish will tend to bite the grub here and you'll miss strikes all the time. Not necessarily all the time, but a lot of times you'll be like, why are, are they not hooking up? And it's because they're grabbing the tail. So I put the hook through the middle like that. So the hook's parallel to the grub. Grab the grub and start to feed it down the middle until I'm almost near the tail. And I like to pop it back out, just like that. Grab the tip of the hook that you just popped out, 
pull it forward, and now it's snug, just like that. So if the fish grabs the back of the lure, it's hooked. Done. So that's a whipping rig. Super simple, effective, retrieve, fast. I'd say don't go slow. You get you'll get this lead stuck. Yeah, you gotta go quick. This Start is a, quick. It's a reef magnet. Yeah, that will you'll hit it on this lead way more often than you will on the hook. That's what gets yeah. stuck. But all you need for this thing is four different components really. You just need your lead, barrel swivel, your leader. Your leader. You can put the bead on if you want. That's that, my this preference. This is not necessary by any means, but it does help. And then your hook and your grub and you're done. That rig will nail you fish on the wide. You master that, you're gonna be stoked. Super simple, easy to learn. And basically what I do is, I have a little kit. I got egg leads, my hooks, my beads, my swivels, and all I need is line. So basically I can go out with a backpack, grab this kit, grab my line, a couple grubs, and I can go, I can go fishing, just like that. It's, and it's all access. I can put it in my pocket, retie a rig if I need to, retie a hook. Easy. I'd say after about 20 casts or so, always check the line for frays. Yeah. Because sometimes you hook big fish with these little lures and you don't want your line to be frayed when that big fish hits. Check if your lure, those will slip off all the time too as things hit it. Make sure it's slid up on the top. All right, so yeah, that's a whipping rig. Now I'll show you guys a quick little bobber rig. Second out of the two easy rigs here in Hawaii to run and produce fish. So I know we just said that that whipping rig was the easiest rig to fish with, but it, it's not, we lied. <laughs> a simple bobber rig is by far the easiest way to fish in Hawaii. So this is probably, if you're gonna take anybody out that doesn't know what they're doing, this is what you're gonna give them. Yeah. And they'll catch fish. Yeah. Like, Almost guaranteed. Yeah. If they're gonna catch a huggy or you know Leia or little tide pool critters, just, yeah. This is the one to use. This is just the go-to. I want to catch a fish. Go-to. One speed. You can use this at night. Yeah. Put a little light on the top of the bobber, and you can see where the light is in the water, and you can see if it goes down, you got a fish. Super simple. We're gonna go over this fast. So you got your line through the eyes. As usual, if you don't know how to put that line through the eyes, then... You're blowing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have some trouble. So, start off with a swivel. This one's kind of big, but it's what we had on hand just at the moment. So you got your line, put it through the eye. Now you got the line, the swivel on the line. Make a loop, hold that end, twist it around the line. Six times, six times if you will, put it through the line. And if this tightening up on this part here is like always messes up, that was really smooth right there, but sometimes it isn't. If you're using heavy touch or something, you can just add a little spit onto there, some water, and then flip the line. Bingo. So now you get your snap swivel. You can open it up here. See that? Yeah, you always use these, this type of snap swivel too. You'll find snap swivels that are missing this little hook here at the end and it's just a straight like shot and those will break and fall apart all the time. Yeah, you're gonna want the ones with the little hook on the end because it locks it in and yeah. the fish can't pull that hook, that swivel out. Some of them, they just clip inside of it yeah. and there's no hook. It's flat and then... Try not to buy those. I mean, they'll work, but, but if a big fish I've had them it, fail, I mean, it's made me really sad. Yeah, they can malfunction. More like more reliable. Than one of these. These are a lot more <laughs> Another, reliable. what, why you, you don't want to just tie the line directly onto your bobber as well. Barrels spin like this, it's free spinning. And when you cast things out multiple times, it's going to start getting tangled unless you have this spinning action here. Twist. Yeah. This spinning action will keep it from getting all twisted up on itself. And line twist will ruin your day. Yeah, you'll be sad. You'll have to redo your line. Like on this pole, actually. <laughs> There's a rat nest right now we got to fix. So you just clip the bobber on like that. And you can just... You can just hook this, like this, and get somebody that doesn't know how to fish and teach them how to cast it in their backyard on the grass. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really good way to just learn how to 
You're not gonna break a window learning how to cast with this. You're not gonna like knock someone out like with a lead if you were trying to do that whipping rig and learning the cast. It's just easy peasy. You got any line? <laughs> no, it's in the truck. So, just like my whip rig, my go-to leader size for whip or bobber is about this long. It's about five feet long. You can make it a little bit shorter if it's really shallow where you're fishing, or you can make it longer if it's deeper where you're fishing. So, but I like five feet. It keeps it a little bit away from the bobber so the fish don't see it if they're skittish that day. So that's my five foot leader. It's about 10 pound test. I like to go higher pound test at night because that's when the toothy fish come out. But during the day, you don't really have to worry about really toothy fish. Yeah, you can run the same rig. This one here, we're teaching you now on the exact pole, line, and reel setup as the whip and rig we just taught you. Kind of the ideal one hitter, quitter rod set here. So this is light whipping rig. So I tie that on, whatever you're comfortable. Not you're used to tying. You can use ours or you can use your own. Yeah, there's tons of different knots people can teach you. This is just easy, super standard. So now strong. you got your, your leader on. This is good for bait. <clears throat> yeah, that's what you want to be using with this. It's not lure, it's just some sort of bait. Yeah, use shrimp, squid, yeah, if you're, bread. Go to the store and find the freshest, still in the shell shrimp you can and use that. Don't get the like the easy peel, terrible, yeah, obviously watered down like bleach shrimp. No one's gonna want to eat that out there. You use, want the like, stinky dank shrimp. Use something that hasn't been frozen for years. Yeah, preferably. Try to get the freshest stuff you can. So now you got your your bobber, you got your swivel connected to your bobber, your four to five foot leader, you got your hook. You can use any kind of hook you want, just not too big and not too small. You don't want the fish breaking the hook. But I like to use AH hooks for this. It's my favorite because it's kind of got that circle on there. So they like take it and swim a little bit and then hook some and then go off. But then again, that's totally personal preference. The last thing that I'm gonna do this rig, if I can get to it. <laughs> no, can't get to it. It's kind of like that lie. I just couldn't grab that thing. <laughs> I apologize to anyone that I was offended on that video. <laughs> that was sad. Poor thing. So you open up the the lead. Keep it away from the hook. You don't want the fish seeing it. Yeah. You want it to weigh your bait down. So sometimes your bait has a tendency to float. Yeah. So, so what are these called? Snap. Um, snap shots or. Split shots. Split shots. Split shot weights. These are, uh, yeah, this will take your rig from like a six to a 10 one speed. Yep. You'll be surprised how more effective it your rig's gonna be with this little piece of lead. It and sinks use, it down to the strike zone. Use a small one. Yeah. Don't go big. Don't get the huge mo, cause you get it stuck or it'll just be in the way. And then you got your shrimp on the end of that. Away from your bobber. You can cast it out super far. It's really effective. It's. I mean, I would recommend this rig if you're coming out here to fish in Hawaii and you just want to come out here and catch a couple fish, use this rig. <clears throat> it's easy. If you're teaching someone new to fishing, if you're new yourself. Bobber, eight foot line, split shot weight, and a hook. You're just going to have fun, you catch can, some fish. You can get this whole rig for under $10. Easy, dude. And then you'll have like 30 of those rigs. <laughs> yeah. Like over and over again. Well. That's it. Yeah, those are two simple Hawaii style fishing rigs that, I mean, even we use all the time still yeah, today. We, we use these. We use this constantly. Yep. And when we're, we're when we're men pachi yeah. fishing at night, we love to this use these. This is it. This the is the only one. thing that we do differently is we put um, bigger test pound test, maybe 15 to 12 pound test, and we put a light on the tip of this bobber. Yeah, a so we can see glow it stick. going down when the fish are biting at it. That's the only difference. We catch Menpachi like that all, all night. Yeah. Menpachi, snapper, papil, everything will bite this. Anything. Thing. Well, that's, that's it, it, guys. Yeah. So go test it out. Let us know how it is. Yep. Hope that's a lot of help. If uh, you like this stuff, let us know. We'll make some more. Hit that yep. like button. Drop us a comment. But yeah, until next time, guys. Shoots. Shoot.